Hey, this is Joseph with the Flying Pigeon Bike Shop, and I've zoomed in on some bike lights that have arrived here in the Flying Pigeon Bike Shop. Um, kind of unique. A lot of shops don't carry stuff like this, so I thought I'd show them off. Uh, we've got these little smart tail lights just, that just arrived from Amsterdam. That we're retailing those for $20. Right next to them are these battery-powered, fender-mounted uh, rear lights, and those are $20. Bucks. Um, off to the right-hand side of your screen, these are uh, $10 headlights from a big American wholesaler. Those are pretty nice. Mounts on the Fort Crown Bridge, and we also have mounts to turn those into... Um, we can mount those also on your headset in an old one inch threaded headset. And uh, over here are some $40 chrome headlights that we got from Amsterdam. And these are our, I think these are our, I like these better than the Soma uh, automatic headlights personally. These we, we have mounts to do on a one inch threaded headset and that's it. Uh, we can also do them on the fork crown uh, as well. Some lights and locks. Um, back here I thought I'd show off a cool bike that John's been working on all day. Uh, this is a custom wheel build and kind of a refurb of an old bike that got shipped to us from the Netherlands by one of our customers. It's required a ton of uh, funky little tricks of the trade. Um, let's get a dynamo on the front. That's a $35 Lumitech that um, we got that we uh, we sell here in the shop. And then in the back, this is the uh, the stock rear rear lamp. Cool thing is we actually had some replacement bulbs for these in stock. So uh, this is an old Gazelle. I think it's an Impala, and uh, it's getting refurbished wheels built and everything put back into place on it. Uh, something else cool, I was able to source some of these from my friends in Amsterdam and so I'm not sure what they cost but uh, we're gonna have some some skirt guard coat guards here in the shop fairly soon um, in a big quantity and those are uh, nice if you have a bike with 700 C or 28 inch tires and you want to uh, keep your coat from flying into the rear wheel. So these are aftermarket that we're putting on this bike and something that unique here at the Flying Pigeon Bike Shop we were able to acquire by calling and moaning and crying into the phone with folks in the Netherlands. Uh, over here in the uh, repair bay, something kind of cool. This is an old um, Raleigh Super Course that uh, John, did, again, did a, a whole number on. We've got some Honjo Fenders, Brooks Saddles, uh, Brooks B67S, and some really nice Brooks leather ring grips. Uh, that wheel build is us again. There's an 8-speed Nexus in the back and a Nexus Dynamo hub powering this really beautiful uh, Lumitech Retro LED headlight, and there's also a tail light in the back that's uh, battery powered. That's a pretty sweet setup, um, and really nice old road bike that's being converted into a really fast city touring frame. Over here in the shop, we brought the beach cruisers in for the night, and those uh, those are going strong. We've been moving a lot of those. Uh, these are the type of bikes that we rent out on our bike rides for 20 bucks a pop. But these are also bikes that we sell for 150 dollars even. And uh, here in the shop, what have we got? We got the Bella Chow next to a Pashley Governor. Our last public bike, the public D3. Our last Valorbis bike, the public student. And uh, we've marked this uh, public student bike down from 1300 bucks down to $1,000 uh, to match the pricing that uh, they have online. And there's a whole lineup of men's Pashley bicycles there. And uh, here is that awesome, lovely bicycle, Bella Chow. Pashley Princess Sovereign, 22 and a half inch. Pashley Poppy in blue, and this is a 17 and a half inch frame. We've gone and mixed and matched some accessories on some of these Pashley Britannias. Here's one in cream with a really beautiful pair of uh, Brooks leather wrap grips to match the antique brown saddle. And then here's the stock Britannia look with their um, the lovely Pashley leather grips to match the Honeybrook saddle. Um, we've got some Linus bikes in stock. There's a three-speed Mixty in cream, a three-speed uh, Dutchie in red. Over here, we've got a Linus Roadster Sport right next to a liner, Linus Roadster Classic. They're single speed. Um, the single speed, we put fenders in a rear rack on. And uh, that's kind of something cool in the shop um, is the Linus bags that we now stock right next to the Cristobal and Company, our Philosophy Penny Air bags, and then a, a few of the Basil Desor things. Our clearance aisle is uh, kind of cleared out. Everything's been dumped into those two bins at, at half off. That little bike in the window is the best little girl's bike you'll ever find, <laughs> I think. For a kid going to school every day, it's got a full chain guard and it's on sale for $450. Um, helmets, 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 our Yakai. Uh, we've actually sold quite a few of these. Um, so it's time to order some more. We're, we've we're got half out of our stock right now and uh, got all kinds of covers and sizes. Those have been turning into a really big Christmas gift. Uh, Brompton bicycles. At the moment, we've gotten a bunch of calls. We've only got uh, one Brompton in stock. This is our test ride bicycle. Uh, but four more on the way from uh, from England, and they should hopefully be here before Christmas. I've kind of crossed my fingers, so <laughs> we wired the money, but got to wait. So they're they're being made right now, and uh, we got a couple of interesting bikes from um, a Dutch manufacturer, Montego. Um, here is one of their frames. This is an aluminum frame, three speed, fully kitted out with a Dynamo light in front, and this bike is going for a little bit less than a thousand dollars. 
and the bike over here on my left is um, going for about seven something. Uh, 750 800 dollars and it's a same deal as the other bike aluminum frame this one's a little more beach cruisery a little uh, it's got the big fat tires and like a brown coffee color really beautiful bicycle uh, great if you want to cruise around town and go to the farmers market ton of yep stuff out here um, we've got a ton of mini maxi maxi easy fit in stock and uh, what else yeah some cool t-shirts hooray oh those helmets they're ten dollars the prime helmets um, and one quick note, we, uh, Car, who works here, some of you may have called in the shop, she's working on tearing this out, our ugly ceiling. Oh, it's going to be great. Look at this water damage from uh, when it rained this last time. So that's going to be out of here, hopefully, uh, in January. We're making our plans now. She's drawn up the CAD drawings. It's going to be rad. And here's our art show for the month. And we'll have another one this next month. Uh, if you got nothing better to do this Saturday, come join us on the uh, brewery ride. And on Sunday morn Sunday afternoon, we're going to be participating in the Neela Holiday Parade. So if you want to be in part of that, come to the shop at about 11.30 and we'll get you on a Santa hat and you can join the fun. All right. That's all I got for you guys is a really long video. So thanks for watching. Bye.